All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. So right now, uh, I know I'm doing this out of order, but right now I'm on my way leaving. Uh, hold on, I did not shift my truck correctly. There we go, had it in manual. So right now I am leaving uh, the Rock Hill property. We went out and showed a buyer um, to the property. Sorry, I'm so distracted, but there's a trailer park right next to me and I like trailer parks. I'm actually gonna take that down real quick. Even though I'm not really driving for dollars right now, this is be a great opportunity for that trailer park before I forget. Let me see here. Um, I'm trying to actually, I'm, I'm looking for a trailer park to buy. So where am I? Come on, little map. There we go. Oh, so there are like multiple properties, but I'll take it down anyway. They're probably owned by the same guy. So I'm out here at the Rock Hill property. Uh, I was showing it to a buyer. I actually have something cool that I'm gonna upload too, um, probably with this vlog. And that is a 360 vlog of that property where you guys can join me walk through the property and actually see the whole property all the way around it by using your phone or a computer, which I think is pretty dope. Um, there are uh, a few VR videos out there on YouTube where you can um, actually, you know, jump in the video and, you know, like you're actually, it feels like you're actually there. That, that's the point I'm trying to get across. Sorry, I'm over here trying to put my GPS because I'm trying to get out of here because I'm on my way to go look at this package deal. And I'm trying not to run this red light. Trying to go look at this package deal. So it's three houses, a small apartment, uh, three commercial units, and a house that could be subdivided into a duplex or could be considered commercial. The whole package deal is cash flowing $3,650 a month. And the asking price is $550,000. So contemplating whether I want to take it down, the homes alone, uh, ARV on the houses are about 220 each. So you're looking at about 600, what is that? 640, no, $660,000 in, um, you know, potential, and I was going to say profit, but that's not really potential profit, but in potentially selling them for 600 grand and then the commercial units, oh, and it also comes with a bunch of vacant land. It's literally an entire city block, all four corners is, is what it really is. Uh, there's one house that is not owned by, uh, the investor. It's an old man. He's like in his nineties trying to sell it all off before he croaks. So he owns the whole block. The land itself, I know that I could probably, e even in this market, I could probably sell it for like easily like 150,000. It's in a prime location, Dallas, North Carolina. Um, it is uh, definitely worth the money. He wants 550 for all of it. The value is about 1.3 million. So, you probably would have to renovate each house. They look, all, all of them look old, which we're gonna drive up there right now to pass through, pass by all of them. We're unfortunately not gonna get access to them today, uh, but he wants $2,000 earnest money to wrap it up under contract. Now, luckily for me, I have guys that'll buy these packages and I can reach out to them first before I lock it up and I actually, you know, blast it out. And it's important that you build really good relationships with buyers for that reason. You wanna be able to come to them and talk to them because they're gonna tell you, yeah, man, I'd pay like 600,000 for that, great. So that means 550, I can do that. But um, again, if you don't trust the people that you're doing business with, it's not gonna, you know, fare well. Now, there are a lot of fake buyers out there who pretend to be your friends and, you know, they in the end screw you over 
you're you're gonna run into one at least i've run into a few uh, i've had my fair share of really crappy buyers that try to you know basically stiff you and go behind your back which is cool they don't realize that that's why they don't ever see properties anymore from me um now of course there are some guys that don't see properties from me just because of whatever technical difficulty my email might be having that it's not sending them uh deals and that happens to me all the time um but there are some guys i particularly do not send anything to anymore because i know who they are i know what they're capable of and i don't trust them so i don't send them deals anymore but besides that guys um so that rock hill property we're still on the fence whether to take it down i really want to take it down my partner is still kind of thinking about it uh he wants to get a second pair of eyes on it which is cool i, I like that um that's why me and him we flow so well together because uh i'm i'm uh what's the word i'm looking for i'm like a loaded gun and he's my trigger finger and i'm ready to roll uh but usually he's more calculated in, in making decisions so i i like uh, having him not as crazy as I am because if it was me man I'd be buying everything but that's just you know nature of the beast it's cool though I like that um, but that property if we do take it down I know it's going to be a lot of money it, about a hundred grand worth of work uh, $82,000 in purchase so we're going to probably be in it between 180 to 220 is going to be my guess and then ARV on it is about 340 to 360. Uh, monthly rent income would be about 4,500 if we rented out each room. But if we rent the property out by itself, we could probably get about, uh, I think it's 3,000 a month is the, uh, the rent rate. Because this is a six bedroom house. Um, yeah, so six bedrooms, 2,000 square feet. So 3,000 would work. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, guys. Um, if you were using the 1.5% rule that I like to follow, that means that uh, according to the rent, you would have to keep your mortgage under 200,000. And that's what taxes and insurance included, which would be about 1500 a month. And you'd be, you know, netting about 1500 now of course that's not including repairs vacancies and all that good stuff that you got to take out so you'd probably be netting like a thousand bucks a month which is still really good i'm leaning more towards the student housing thing so that's what i'm probably gonna go for but let's go ahead and head over to those houses and see what they look like hopefully they're not that bad and uh we can maybe pick this thing up and you guys can see it for yourself All right, so we made it out here. I'm trying to get my other phone here. So it's going to be this block right here. I don't know how well you can see it, but if anything, I'm just going to post a picture. It's this parking lot right here to my left. And then it's this building right here, which this building, it has significant damage on the outside it's in pretty rough shape but it's a nice place like I'm, I'm gonna post all these pictures so you guys can see it but I'm wondering what we could do with this I'm sorry if it's so windy right now but this place is it's nice though I could definitely see me using this somehow so this house and there's a, a three unit building oh it's all attached to each other oh crap that sucks uh there's a carport here which that's just weird so if we were to look on this on paper um well I, i'll just share the picture there's no point in me trying to explain this but basically both 
buildings are linked together through the carport. I wonder how or why they would do something like that. That is like the most weirdest thing I've ever seen. I'm gonna roll my window up because I know that wind is probably ruining this audio and I don't have my little uh, foam thing that goes over my windscreen. There you go. So let me see here. So we, we got those units and then we got this vacant lot that's right here. And before I hit this corner, I wanted to take a picture of that lot. We got a bando right here on the corner that's in front of me. And then on this thing, so on this first house, it's the front unit and the actual house. And then the secondary house, oh, they're building a, is that a new house that they're building across the street? No, it's a full renovation. Oh, that's not, well, yeah, that one is part of the deal. And this one, man, these houses, they need work. They're not horrible, but they do need work. So basically the whole entire square is what we would be buying minus the house like from this house right here, two doors down is the only house that's not included in this whole block purchase. Um, I don't know how many acres that would be. Maybe like three acres, four acres, basically. So this whole block, like literally the, the entire square all the way around is what we'd be purchasing. I mean, it, it don't look bad, um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do some math real quick. They all need a new roof. I just, I can see it right there. I'm gonna try to park. And then there's a mill right here. Yeah, this mill. Oh wow, it looks like somebody's shot out the windows. I'm gonna park myself over here so I can try to figure, figure something out with this real quick. So here we go, <sighs> much better. All right, so that house, looking at it from here, it's gonna need all new windows, needs a roof. House next door, the roof looks okay, but again, a lot of exterior work. And in the front house, that one also needs a lot of work. So if we were gonna put a price tag, which let me charge my phone because it's dying. If we were gonna put a price tag on all of this, he wants $550,000 for everything. So I would say if it has a ARV of 220, or let, let's not even talk about ARV. If I know I need to be all in at 100,000, uh, 1200 divided by 0 0.015. So I need to be all in on each one, each one of these houses at 80,000. They're all gonna need $40,000 worth of work. So it's simple math. I need to be at 40. Uh, so 40 times three equals 120 just for the houses. Um, I think one of them might be in better shape though. So I'll add 20,000 as kind of like a buffer. 140 for three houses. Then the commercial unit over there, it's got three units rented out at $400 each. Um, so I know I'm gonna I'm keep 140 in my mind. I know if I can rent each one out for a thousand times three divided by point zero one five, I could pay 200,000 minus repairs. I'm going to assume there's about let's say 60,000 in repairs. That's also brings me down to 140. So 140 plus 140 equals 280, 280 plus the, the other house next to it, you can call it. I know that house could probably rent for about 1600. It's a big house, it's 2000 square feet. 
or I could probably divide because of the zoning since it's zoned commercial I know that I could divide it into a duplex I could probably get like a 1200 each side so 1200 times 2 divided by 0 0.015 160 plus 280 so in reality I can't buy this for more than 440 yeah that's not gonna work I'm a hundred thousand dollars short now I, I'd stretch it a little bit um, well I'm, I'm not thinking about the lots I know the lots are worth quite a bit of money so the one big lot here on the corner that's like a parking lot or it's, it's not like a parking lot it is a parking lot that parking lot I know that um, that alone is gonna be worth some money because um, they, they've got commercial equipment over there that they're parking there I'm wondering how much they're paying to use that as a parking lot I could remove the fencing around it or leave the fencing and just open the gate and then put like a pay to park thing there or even rent it out to tractor trailers I know tractor trailers will pay about like 200 bucks a month to park their trailer in there or not trailer but the actual tractor um, I know a bunch of guys that would pay that because you can't park that thing in front of your house. You park it in your driveway, it's cracking your driveway. If you park it in the street, you get ticketed, you got people, you know, running in there trying to steal stuff. So if I got just one guy paying me 250 a month just to sit on that land, um, that, that's not too bad. So 440. I can't justify paying a hundred thousand for that lot and then it comes with the other corner lot there I know that I could build at least one house there so that brings the value of it to like thirty thousand so let's say we could pay thirty thousand for that lot we're at 470 um, That'd be like, wait, paying 80,000 for that corner lot? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to be a little bit lower. Now he says his nephew wants to buy it at 500, but he wants 550. <sighs> yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be a tough one there. I'll figure it out one way or another. But yeah, I, can, I can't pay 550 for this. It's too much. I mean, even though uh, gross rent would be like 8,000 on this place. You're looking at 1,200 per house, let's say. Multiply that by three. I forgot about the little apartment in the back. There's a little apartment back there. I know if I fix that up, I could get 750. The three units on that commercial building, I could get 3,000. And if I convert the corner lot into a duplex, Actually, the gross rent is a little bit more. It's $9,750. So $9,750, if I divide that by 0 0.015, that means I can't be more than $650,000 all in for that. In case you're wondering why I'm using the 0 0.015, so if you take the rent and you divide it by 0 0.015, I want my all in has to be 1.5% of purchase and rehab or my rent needs to be 1.5 percent of purchase and rehab so that means if rent is twelve hundred dollars for it to be 1.5 percent of the purchase price that means my purchase is eighty thousand and that's including repairs if that makes any sense uh so again rent divided by 0 0.015 will give you the maximum amount that you could pay for it with your rehab built into it. So if you wanna figure out what your purchase price would be, um, you would just subtract your repairs, which is 40,000 per house, and you have your purchase price of 40,000. I'm pretty sure I lost everybody with that, but we'll do it again. Uh, rent divided by 0 0.015 equals all in and then subtract repairs and that's your offer now if you're going to wholesale it obviously you're going to have to um, take out your wholesale fee at like 
10 grand or 20 grand, whatever you want to make. And then that's, of course, your maximum allowable offer as a wholesaler. But yeah, I know that I can't, I can't be that high with these. That is what it is. Um, I'm probably going to just go ahead and make him another offer. I'm going to do a little bit of driving for dollars around here and I'm probably going to end my day. Um, I'm still working on the whole Twilio crap. Um, I, I finally have like just one part left. I think I said it earlier today. I don't remember, but I'm going to work on that when I get home and I got to redesign the whole system anyway to stay compliant. Anybody that's bought my AI course, I will be giving you guys an update on that when I have it. I don't have one right now because I need to figure it out. So by the time you guys are listening to this, it's probably um, been at least a month that I've probably made the offer on this. I don't know how fast this, this video is going to hit, but I know uh, today is January. I don't even know what day it is. January the 12th. So 12 days of the year crazy how time flies all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and head out of here i'm gonna drive around here a little bit i'm probably gonna do like a little 30 minute session dallas is not that far away from me so i'm just gonna come down here and hit these blocks see if i pull a deal out who knows um but thanks anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll catch you guys on another vlog